So this is a special episode where I've put this epic vlog together of me and my girlfriend's time in Peru. And I know I've put a Peru vlog on my Raw Spirituality channel, but because of your guys' response, I've decided to make an even epic version of that and put it on this channel. And might as well give you guys like a teaser sneak peek of the upcoming Ayahuasca and some Pedro documentary. But anyways, guys, remember to like, share, subscribe, and all that jazz if you liked the video. And yeah, talk to you soon. Your first ayahuasca ceremony, Yes, yeah? my first experience with ayahuasca. How did you hear about it? From uh, this guy called Tom. <laughs> Fair enough. Who is this guy? Oh yeah, just some guy dating. Some dickhead? Yeah. yeah. I thought so. Pretty incredible, just mind blowing. It, it was kind of the same thing I got on mushrooms, which was um, that I'm more than one person. So when I closed my eyes, I could feel all of me, like all the different me's, and there was parts of myself that I could feel that I had forgotten or neglected or just don't appreciate like I should. And then I got really sad and I started crying. And I think that was my purge. There was actually a part in the ceremony where one of the shamans was singing and I started healing myself. It was really weird. I was just going through my body, just sensing to make sure everything was okay. And every time I found a discomfort or something, I'd just kind of push it out of my body, like, like, get out, you're done, like, I'm done. going back to memories that I didn't think really mattered but I think they must because they kept coming up. Um, memories from when I was probably less than two. That all makes sense. Fucking hell. Biggest aha moment. Very excited to eat food though. We're gonna have an acai ball as soon as we get back to Wikidos. And a sandwich. And a sandwich. <laughs> and a donut. And a donut. The finale. Mm. It's tonight. <sighs> <laughs> So this is our room at Casa de la Gringa. Check this place out. Oh, it's even got like an upstairs thing. It's like a very pink in here. Look at the sunroof. <laughs> I dig it. You see this tea I'm drinking? This is coca leaf, a very sacred ancient plant medicines that the Incas used to build Machu Picchu. And this helps with high altitude, digestion, a whole bunch of medicinal properties, and of course, the buzz your tits off, mate. I like it. How cool are these streets? They're like full European style, huh? Oh, yeah. We're about to leave for our San Pedro ceremony. This is Yesenia's first one. How do you feel? 
I'm actually really excited. Like, really, really excited. I have a good feeling about this. We're behind me, another blogger. Someone else who's blogging the entire process. <laughs> <laughs> you have 100% permission to film me in any situation, no matter how embarrassing. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> yeah, do Alrighty. Alrighty, this is where shit gets real. <laughs> um, mushrooms. Mushrooms is my concern. I've had some good times on mushrooms. Yeah, I have too. You know when you're trying to chain your bike up, um, <laughs> but you can't because your chain's melting? Yeah. But it's okay because the bike's melting as well, and you've just got to kind of time it so that they don't melt through each other. Yeah, so <laughs> that was one of my favorite times on mushrooms. I broke my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> That's a good time. Uh -huh. Very good time. No, I had a good chat to God. <laughs> she was all right. <laughs> it was definitely a she. That's for sure. It was multiple. It wasn't just one. It wasn't female. It wasn't male. And if it was, it was all. So it felt like a mother. It felt like a father. It felt like a brother. It felt like a sister. It just felt like everything and anything. So I've just been given a second dose and the, one of the guys, Jimmy, did a little extra work on me and I feel a lot better because he knew exactly what was going on in my head and um, he's going to help me. <laughs> he's sitting in a masculine spot, feeling the energies and vibrations of the sun. How did they do this? How did they do what? What was it? What do you think it was? Why are you doing this? <laughs> aliens. Aliens, aliens, aliens. It had to be aliens. Or some supernatural, or some super being of some... Or technology. Like a futuristic technology that we don't know of. Aliens! Because how, how do they do that? How... Did they build that around that giant rock? How do you get rocks to perfectly fit in that wedge if it's not there? And even then, look, that's leaning up against it. So what do you think it was? Alien. <laughs> it has to be alien. You're an alien. It don't make no sense. <laughs> That's the president of the island. Mr. President, Mr. President. Excuse me. <laughs> did you just fart? No. Yesenia Adonis, did you just expel <laughs> methane out of your butthole? No. She's nasty. This is what I have to live with. Oh, please don't put that up. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, but no seriousness. Check out this. If I concentrate hard enough, I can still probably see very, 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 very 
like my Dude. veins. I feel like I, I can no see my veins. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. I hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you're interested at all in helping fund these future documentaries like my girlfriend's ayahuasca documentary, San Pedro and uh, Acid Experience, among much more epic ambitious projects in the future, definitely go check out Patreon. Uh, another way to support this channel is to get merch. And if you get this t-shirt, it will give you access to the eighth dimension on your next trip. <laughs> but anyways guys, let us know if you like these vlog type videos in the comment section below. And if you want to follow me, my girlfriend's adventures, go follow my Instagram. I usually post a lot of Insta stories over there. Yeah, as always, love all you guys. Have an awesome day, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.